So I just bought this carbide blade. I think it's a 26 RD3. Let me look. Yes. It's a green chain link, low kickback. I've always used this stuff. Can't remember the model. They're about $40 full retail. This was about 63 delivered. Well, I've never used one. I'm going to use one. I'm going to let you know what I think. So this, I bought three of these chains recently. And I'm cutting up a digger pine up top that fell. And it fell on a fence. And I thought I could cut this without damaging the chain by, you know, cutting around the fence and so on, a wire fence. See that wire fence there? Like that. Well, I touched it and basically fucked up all three chains. And um, so I have to hand sharpen them. And it was a good three hours. And the reason I'm showing you this is to times 30. And it sure gave me a new perspective. We paid to have all that cleaned out. That was so full of mistletoe and dead wood. And that's what all that is. So um, I would suggest you buy one of these and then look at your work when you're cutting. You won't believe what's going on. Radically changed my uh, perspective on reality. Now you can't cut these carbide blades with a regular. You have to buy a special one. Diamond. Well, they say this is Stills' first carbide. I don't think I've ever used a green chain. Because I... I'm not worried about kickback. So, anyhow. Uh, oh, and I'll tell you what else. I don't care what age you are. Get one of these belts. I didn't wear one of these till I was 65. That was five years ago. What a difference. You think you're tough. But you're, wow, I'm just so glad I finally put that on. I had it for over 20 years before I put it on. Yeah. Those belts really help. So here's the first cut with the carbide and the other blade, the other chain cuts every bit as good as this and when it was new actually it brought off curly cues. Right now when I spent all that time repairing them, um, they chip about like this. It's actually not quite as good, but it's close and I'm going to work on them. I'm learning. I'm using my times 30 and learning. So I'm not overly impressed with this. Uh, if the durability is great, then that's good. Uh, everything I'm cutting is oak except for this one digger pine. So let's go look at my four foot oak stump. It was live oak. This is all black oak. So this is four feet going that way and then about three and a half feet going up and down here. So. Uh, I'll do some work on it and I'll give you my opinion. Alright, so I cut halfway through and these chains cut much wider. That must be part of that anti-kickback. Chips look about the same as uh, non-carbide chips. So the upside here is if it lasts twice as long then it's okay because I pay I don't know, I think it was I think I got three chains for a hundred dollars plus a bar for another 35 or something, but uh, um, you know, made a, made a deal. So, wider cut, same good chips. I can't say they're better chips, I can't say it cuts faster. I'm out here cutting all this stuff. I got this is old black walnut, black walnut. Um, this used to be an orchard. I took down two walnuts. There's one up there. See that little shrubby thing? These things, they're, they're really hard to kill. That came down last, uh, around June 1st. And uh, cut it back twice. And it's, that's how it looks here a year later. Alright, so. Uh, I can't tell you how good a deal they are because I don't know the longevity. That would be the issue. As far as cutting, they're just fine. I don't like the wide cut. So... And that other non-carbide, it brings off curly cues until you stick it in the dirt. 
or a piece of fence. So, um, hopefully they're very durable and uh, that'll pay for any of er the errors I tend to make. There's the stump to the digger pine. We're up top now. That's digger pine, but that other stuff is black walnut. Digger pine. So I looked at the uh, carbide under my times 30 after running the chainsaw for about 45 minutes and it looked like new. So that's good. This is, I'm going to have this milled. Just slab into one inch slab. I'm not even going to trim it up. Right? I'll worry about it down the road. And uh, I didn't take that down because it makes shade here. I can work on my 64 Spitfire. And that's black walnut. I need to cover that up there and keep it watered. Let's see. That one's been down since like January. That stuff's been down for a year. Yeah. Need to work on my little Spitfire. So, uh, carbide blade looks like it might be a good deal. If right? it lasts twice as long, then it's worth it just because you don't have to ever sharpen it. Off subject, but that's a Tesla roof. Glass Tesla roof making solar. So this area in here is solar. It, uh, I think one fourth of it roughly is solar. Just got that done. And the gutters match. You can't even tell there's gutters there. Two power walls. So that's like 27 kilowatt hours. All right. That's it.